getting there. Well, I was just about to do it. Uh, a little bit of a speech and then all these old school tractors came down the road a procession of them one after the other i'll put some little snippets in now um they were cool who doesn't love a tractor <laughs> uh, and some of them even wave so i'll put them ones on <laughs> and honk the horn <laughs> i'm easily pleased um well it's forecast for thunder and lightning today but i've arrived and the weather's looking actually not too bad at the minute. I think I have heard the odd little rumble, but it doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to get my boat inflated and I'm going to have an explore, hopefully get across to the other side of the lake. Um, and my car is right next to where I can just put straight into the lake, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm going to explore and see where I end up and maybe find a better camp spot than where I'm currently at. See you soon. Looking good. There we go, Superstar GJ. Here we go. Oh, it's so good to be out. It's been far too long. I haven't packed on the camping gear yet, yet on this uh, pack rack because I just wanted to do an explore. And I'm now heading across to the other side of the lake. Away from the road, in the hopes of a slightly more nature quiet camp. Yeah, it's going to be chucking it down all the way through the night, apparently. So I knew the forecast was going to be quite a bad one this weekend. Um, so I brought my trusty Hilleberg Nail Auto tent. So I thought. If it's chucking it down, I want luxury and I want space. And I thought, since I'm so close to my car, why not? side. It doesn't look much space for a tent unless I'm on top of rocks. And there's a steep bank. So I think the breeze is pushing us that way. Is that the gods telling us to check up here? I'm going to listen. bit there looks like quite a nice flat spot that area so all being well that's where I'm coming back to but there's definitely thunder in them clouds and rain not quite yet but we'll watch this space now I may have seen it in a book I don't know because sometimes the ideas are already there, they've been planted. You think you've come up with them yourself, but you haven't. But I have these liners around here for carrying my boat to help get it and grab it if I fall out of whatever reason. Or something to grab and it helps to shift the boat while it's inflated. But it's the same, so I've got this here, like this, and the same on both sides. And I've just slotted my oar in either side. And then I pick up, pick up with me on. How cool is that? And because it's still early, I've decided I'm going to go and paddle up this top end and around. I only need to go so far that way, and then I'll stick back to this side and come back around. 
um, unless I see an amazing camp spot up there. Well, I was thinking this was going to be a lovely spot and it is absolutely gorgeous on this side. All you can hear is nature in there, but the ground still leaves a lot to be desired. I won't get a flat lay here and wherever it would be flat, there's just no way I'd get my pegs in. Oh, there's a the rain. Woohoo! I actually love it when it rains. Down the water. Just flipped you back this way again. Um, just discovering I can do these things. <laughs> I bought a, a GoPro eventually. All the years I've been doing adventures and I've wanted a GoPro and I eventually bought one. Second hand, mind you, because I can't afford all these fandangled expensive prices but if it works what does it matter if it's second hand most of my gear is second hand or very very much in the sale <laughs> so it's I'm, it's taken a, a lot longer to do this paddle up here because I'm fully laden I don't know if you can see I've got my tent and everything in the back of there and then on the front I won't be able to flip you but I'll take a I'll take a thing with my phone. Um, yeah, the front is also laid it down. Because I've gone for luxury this time. I don't know if I've already said it in one of my other little bits because I'm gabbling on that much. But I've gone for luxury and gone with the Hilleberg tent today and all of the extras. So, my boat is a tad on the heavy side, but I'm still pushing on. And there's still so much more to see. What views, man. Such a different experience getting on the water, like. If anyone's scared of going out and doing adventures on their own, you really don't need to be. I mean, look at this. Look what I'm surrounded by. I mean, I do always take as many safety procedure, safety procedure precautions as possible. I don't just, I wouldn't do uh, white water on my own, for example. Um, but when I've checked and checked and checked again, weather and and I'm making sure I, I make the right decisions all the time, for example, because it is still forecast for thunder not being too far away from the edges but mother nature is not trying to kill you it's humans that's trying to kill us all <laughs> no not all humans uh, just the crazy ones <laughs> but this is just absolutely stunning and there's something so peaceful and liberating and invigorating. I think sometimes you get to feel that closer to nature when you're not surrounded by lots of other people. So it's worth doing the solos as well as the groups because they all bring a little bit of something and it's all something to be treasured so don't be frightened of doing things on your own you can go out there and do it just put your mind away I'm wondering if that flat spot over there looks nice for camping because it's further away up the path further away from the road I think this 
may be the hunger in that spot. Big so. Found me spot. It's a hell of a lot flatter. Not so tough yet, don't. And I can't see lots of nice wildflowers, so I don't feel like I'm going to be killing anything. See, just in time for the rain. Did say it was coming. I'm so glad I didn't film that, setting that up, because I'm so out of practice. <laughs> and because I'm on tufty ground, I know I still haven't set this up perfectly. But inside, it's luxury. Woohoo! But it has not stopped raining. Absolutely soaking. This is the moment I've been trying to put this up. What a difference, eh? Beautiful baby birches. Pioneer species. They help lead the way to new forests. Such an amazing tree, the birch. One of, one of the best for us with all this usage. From fire lighting to birch syrup to replenishing the ground of nutri nutrients when the leaves fall. Multi multitude of benefits from the birch tree. Lots of ba baby spruces. Ow! <laughs> They're not too bad actually because they're little. And a baby alder. They love water. And you can tell the alders because he has a bigger one. And they've got cones. Get little, they get little catkins too. Hackins and corns. Well, I'm super thankful the rain stopped enough to get out of my wet gear because try if I had to try and get changed in there, everything was like getting splashed and the water was getting inside. Thankfully, the majority of what's in there is dry, other than just a little bit of sprinkling, which isn't too bad. Um, I've managed to keep the me important stuff dry. And nice to be out of them clothes and into warm cozies. Um, and it's now... Cuckoo. I don't know if that camera's going to pick it up, but I hope it does. Um, Yes, it's 20 to 7, so I'm going to attempt to cook myself up some steak and mushrooms before the next band of rain comes, because it's going to be coming on and off all day. Um, and sunset is at 10 to 9 as well, quarter, quarter 9, 10 to 9. Um, not that we'll see a sunset <laughs> today, but I'm going to get me belly filled, and then I'll get cosy, and I've got a book to read, and I'll show you what that book is later. I get this eaten before the rain comes because it's definitely getting dark here. Amazingly, I just got me steak and mushrooms eaten 
and I could see it's getting dark. And it's definitely starting to spit on. So I am getting myself into there. Hey, hey, I just got it on time. Chucking it, dude. Eating lemon drizzle cake, courtesy of me friend Lynn. Hunkering down. So this is the book I've got today. Mother Nature is not trying to kill you. A wildlife and Bushcraft Survival Guide by Rob Nelson and Haley Nelson. And I watch his videos on YouTube and actually really, really good videos. So I thought I'm going to give his book a go. So. It's meant to be good for children as well, this book. And I'm a big child, so that's all right. <laughs> It's raining, it's pouring. Thankfully the rain stopped enough for us to filter some water. Got me two things of water under there. Ready for in the morning. Good morning world, how beautiful, the space isn't beautiful, I've uh, woken up quite a bit through the night, I have slept um, but I have woken up quite a bit because the rain was continuous and the bird sounds absolutely beautiful, honestly, I've tried to capture a little bit a video when I was in the tent of just the, the, the noises um, it's being constant but you know what it's the, just the best sound it don't stress me out if I'm at home and I've got noisy neighbours I get stressed out when I'm out here and I just hear all these sounds I just love it it's just a completely different experience look at how still this water is like a glass mirror this is what makes it worth doing these things. And there hasn't been a single soul come past this point, this this where I've been today. Uh, I knew it was going to be quieter anyway this weekend. But uh, oh, here's to get out. Here's to get out. still brings the midges cheers everybody breakfast fit for a king it's 
warming up a bit now and the skies are clearing and it's meant to be a dry day today which is good <laughs> so a lovely guy this morning is just to walk that's the pathway along the, the top of the bank there i didn't capture it on camera sadly but he was just walking past with his dog and he said uh, he said morning did you hear the cuckoo this morning and I was like, yes, I says, I heard it yesterday. I heard it a few times and I wasn't sure if I was having an alarm or if it was the real bird. And he says, yes, it's, a, it's the first time he's heard a cuckoo in 45 years because they're so rare, which is why I got so excited when I thought I could hear it. So I really don't know if my phone's picked it up, but there's definitely a cuckoo. It wasn't just me. And I think on a little bit of my video, you did see the guy walking that way when I was just about it. So the guy does exist. I'm not making it up. <laughs> There's cuckoos here. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Oh, All my stuff's packed up there, ready just to attach to my boat. It's amazing how much luxury you can fit onto one of them little boats like. Especially when you, you're paddling straight from where you, you're parked in the car. You can definitely get away with luxurious camps when you do that. I'm leaving me wet stuff to put onto the very last minute because it's hot. And you can see, leave no trace. Not even a peg. All packed up and ready to go. What a beautiful spot, uh, honestly. After looking at paddling around and thinking, oh, I'm not too sure about that, I'm not too sure about that. But then the perfect timing, when the rain started chucking it down and pretty much didn't stop getting landing here, honestly, absolutely class. Um, so, and it's just so nice. I'm not going to paddle straight back to the car. I'm going to do, do the long circumference back around again and um, make the most of it because I don't know when the next chance of a paddle is going to be. So I'm going to do that. And again, sunset's not till late. So I am doing another walk and another night's camping, but it doesn't matter if I set off a bit later because the, the walk I'm doing, I think it's going to probably be max about two hours. So I've got plenty of time. Beautiful. This yellow dry bag I got from Aldi and I think I paid six or eight pound in the sale. Ordinarily, I think it was about 12 pound and what an absolute bargain. It's actually got like loops, like webbing loops on either side, which make it perfect for tying down onto a pack rack. Back on dry ground. What a stunning paddle in camp. More like a camping meal. Noodles and pepper are we? <laughs> I thought I might as well dry as much stuff out as I can before putting it all the way in the car and get myself a cup of, nice cup of tea and some dinner. Yeah, I think I'm going to head along once I'm all sorted here and I've had my dinner and put all the stuff in the car. I'm going to head along to Megat Reservoir instead of doing the walk around here because 
a guy who I met on the water said apparently that's meant to be really nice for a walk and a paddle. So I'm not going there with the intention of paddling, but just checking it out. Um, I might just do a walk and a camp there. But it's only nine minutes drive away. And when you've made the effort to come here, what's another nine minutes? So I'm going to check it out and let you know what it's like. You want to move, she beats? Well, I've arrived at Megat Reservoir and it's actually stunning. Even the little drive into here was so nice. I'm so glad that guy told us about it. And it has to be paddled. It is quite big, this um, reservoir. So I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna go up this way and around. It looks like there's a lovely waterfall coming down there that I wanna try and get closer to. And then just come around this little top end. That's all I'm gonna do today. I have paddled quite a bit already um, so yeah I'm doing a second paddle it's a big big reservoir To explore. <laughs> Look how crystal clear it is. Well, that was really stunning back there. really stunning the perfect place for a lovely plodge in the morning but the camping I just wasn't doing it for us there Um, I saw a dead sheep and I didn't fancy spending being too close to dead sheep especially when you hear all the lambs bleating and then it starts making you think is it there ma'am so I just didn't didn't have a good vibe for camping but my goodness I bet you I'll be back there to have a little plodge in that a little bit of a waterfall coming down it was a perfect little pool and the temperature just right i think i could have lasted longer than a minute and a half <laughs> so i'm going to head back now to where i originally thought where it looks nice and green um, and i'm going to set up camp because i think it is pressing on i can't i haven't checked the time but I, i've got a feeling it's close to tea time now my belly's telling us that it is um so i'm going to go there and set up and then get some tea I think I've potentially found a lovely place to camp anyway. This grass pretty nice and flat. Got loads of space around us. Nobody else is here. And you kind of complain about that view, can you? <laughs> and there's not no sheep on this little patch at the minute but that's not to say yes that's not to say they won't be here by the time i'm sleeping because <laughs> if you've watched some of my previous videos the sheep are alive <laughs> well, the hills are alive with sheep <laughs> crunching in the middle of the night when you're trying to sleep it's funny though funny. <laughs> Such a beautiful baby. Look at that huge thing. How cool.
huge. Another tip if there's no rocks about or anything and you want to get these shaped pegs into the ground a bit further because the, them edges are really sharp and I've, I have been using my own hand and you can see it dents and it hurts. So if you, if you realise it gets too much for you, that we just use the inside of that, slots onto there, push down. Jobs are good. And... Well, this is me all set up and organised. A lot more space to set up. Much more even ground. And it's dry. The breeze is picking up a bit like still not too bad. This is where you come around to the messy end. Got a nice cup of tea on the go. And so thankful I remembered my soya filter because I had packed two litres of water in my proper hiking bo water bottles and kind of help find them anywhere which makes me think I left them at home. So if I hadn't had that I would have been stuffed this weekend. So always remember your water filter peeps. <sighs> Lovely cup of tea. And in case you're wondering why I'm all tucked in socks into trousers, t-shirt into trackies, even though this is not a sexy look, is because I've already seen one tick here. Um, and we don't want them little beasties getting on us. Not when we can avoid it, at least at least as much as possible. Because the less you get, the less chance of ill effects. So I just take the not looking sexy on the chin. <laughs> Tonight's tea. I mean, how often do you get to eat tea and have views like that? The clouds are thickening up. Still proper windy, but I'm going to try and get another couple hours sleep so I'm not hopefully too wet on the drive. Morning, my goodness, that was windy. I think you can hear the rain now as well. It's just got up to eight o'clock, and I'm going to have to start stirring. I'm tired. On view. Well, that's me to pitch all tidied away. I've checked, make sure there's nothing left behind again, leave no trace. Me down there 
all I've got to do is tie everything onto it. And I haven't even had a couple this morning. I checked the, I checked the forecast this morning and you think how bad it's been through the night and then if, if I left it any later, um, I forgot to check the time now, but at um, it, it, 11 o'clock it's going to really hit the weather um, and it doesn't get better than this any time now, it only gets worse. So I thought I'm just going to concentrate, get all my gear in on my board, get around my car and then when I get to my car, maybe it's not the board. <laughs> See you on the other side. Behind us to get back to the car. <laughs> Made it, and that was definitely looking sketchy, so I'm very glad I did. Um, I'm back and very pleased to be back because it's miserable out there now. My goodness. So I am literally just going to have a quick drink and a quick nibble and get myself back home. Um, but what an amazing adventure. It's it, Where I was camped, duped us into a false sense of uh, serenity though. Because <laughs> I was getting hammered by the full blow of that wind last night. And it was, it didn't, I, I was thinking, surely it's going to stop, surely it's going to stop. And it didn't even stop. No, so that's why I look a bit uh, knackered today. But hey ho, that's all part of the fun, all part of the adventure and it's the memories you've made up there isn't it that count. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Hopefully looking a bit fresher than I am now. <laughs> see you later, bye!